What is going on everyone? It's Harley 417 back with another video and I know it's kind of late. It's kind of nighttime. It's the only time I could fit this video in. So it's the Jets Jaguars week four uh, recap and to recap it in a few words I was I was I was shocked. I'll just say that. I was shocked at how my team played this week. Plain and simple. There's a couple things I wasn't surprised about, but most of it surprised me. The number one thing that surprised me about this game was the Jets' defensive efforts. I thought the Jets played their worst defensive game of the season. I know for a fact the Jets played their worst defensive game of the season. Because how in the world you let a quarterback like Blake Bortles, Blake Bortles! play like he's Joe Montana. It's Peyton Manning. I mean, are you kidding me? Like, this guy had four, had 388 passing yards. A career high, I believe. Oh yeah, it was a career high. Because the commentators were running their mouths about it right after the game. So, um... Not turning in. Ah, uh, so depressing defensive performance. Blake Bortles went off. I think they ran the same play about five or six or seven times and got a first down on it every time. The shallow cross. That means you've got one receiver running to the left and two receivers running to the right, and you got a running back going out whichever way the quarterback points him to go for a dump off. Bruh, it's a shallow cross. It's the same play over and over again. How do you not stop it? Embarrassing. And I know somebody, I know somebody's gonna say in the comments, oh, well, it was the Jaguars. You know, they're a good team and all. They're, 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 they're way better than the Jets are right now. Just shut up because just shut up, okay? Because you watch that game. The Jets had every reason, even when they lost, and even when they were losing in the fourth quarter or third quarter, they fought back into the game. The defense played terrible, terrible overall. But we were in the ball game. 25 to three. Okay, but enough talk about the defense. The defense was getting shredded by the same play. I already made that statement. Loud and clear. The offense, same old stuff, man. You got, you got Sam Donald on this PA boot crap the whole freaking game. Um, I evidently our offensive coordinator has got nothing but a crown and a and a and a little a little a little notepad. That he's drawing his offensive play calls on because it's the same plays every year. Every game is the same three plays. PA boot. HB dive. And maybe a five receiver set every three series. Maybe. I am fed up with this offense. I'm not fed up with this offense. I'm fed up with this offensive play calling. And people were really getting on my nerves. And it, but I'm not I'm not surprised. Jet fans are calling for Sam Darnold's head. Are you seriously calling for Sam Darnold's head? First off, this is the guy that you all marked down to be the savior. So don't even come crying back to me all of a sudden. Oh, Sam Darnold's reason we're losing. Oh, Sam Darnold's having a bad year. He sucks. He's a bust. We should start McCown. I love people saying start McCown. We should put Josh McCown back in. It's not his fault. And it's not Sam Donald's fault. Please, stop saying that it is. When your offense is set up to screw a quarterback, as the Jets is, you will have, don't be surprised when you have bad quarterback play. The New York Jets offense is set up to play, to plot against their quarterback. 
every year. It has gotten worse and worse and worse over the years. Even in the Lions when the play calling wasn't great. Sam Darnold made plays happen in that Lions game. Sam Darnold made plays happen with his legs, with his arm, with his mind, on the run. Stop blaming the kid. Maybe he's making a few mistakes every now and then. Maybe he's overthrowing a few balls. Maybe he's underthrowing a few balls. That is a rookie. Rookies will do that. Jesus Christ, not everybody. Not everybody is Ben Roethlisberger coming out of college. Not everybody's Andrew Luck coming out of college. You people need to realize that. Jeremy Bates. Jeremy Bates is the worst offensive coordinator I have seen as a Jets fan in my entire life. What I mean by plotting against your quarterback is calling PA boot, HB dive, no, 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 not HB dive anymore. It's HB toss, which doesn't work. You've got, you mean to tell me you've got a running back like Bilal Powell, and you can't get this man in space to get a first down on third and one. You are going in five receiver sets on third and one. And Sam Donald's getting sacked. I'm going to sum up a New York Jets football drive. New York Jets 2018 football drive in a few words. Offensively. <laughs> you start the ball at the 25 or the 35. doesn't matter where you start the ball at. The first play call is always a run. It's always a run. Power O, uh, HB toss, HB dive. It's always a run. So predictable. Second and ten. Second and nine. Second and eight. Sam Donald, play action boot. Runs to the left sideline. Nobody's open. Gets scared. Looks left. Looks right. Gets ready. Throws it away, but tucks it like Tony Romo back in 2011. Third down. What do the Jets call? Two receivers. Two receivers set to the left. And a tight end to the right. Tight end gets wide open down the field. Sam Darnold doesn't see him. Sam Darnold's staring down Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson goes deep. Sam Darnold looks deep but doesn't throw deep. Sam Darnold checks down to Bilal Powell. Every third down, he checks down to a running back. Jesus Christ. That's the only thing that bugs me about Sam Darnold. You have got to stop looking for a safety valve. But this all goes back to the play calling. When your play calling is a two-receiver set, 90% of the time, you are not going to get drive. You're not going to have successful drives. You're not going to have a successful football team. And you're not going to have a successful season. That's just the facts. The play calling is so terrible on this team, man. It really bugs me. But anyway, my main reason why we lost, the main reason I'm upset, and the main reason why the Jets are 1-3, Todd Bowles. Well, I'm going to let this sink in for a minute with all you viewers. Todd, fourth year, shake my head, Bowles. I have never in my life as a Jets fan been more disappointed in a head coach than Todd Bowles. Not even with Rex Ryan. Not even with Rex Ryan. Explain to me how when you're down two touchdowns, 13 freaking points. Explain to me how when you're down that many points in the fourth quarter and it's fourth down with five minutes left in the game, are you punting the ball? Why are you punting the ball? It's the same reason that the penalties keep the holding keeps happening every game. It's the same reason. Uh, I'm, th 
fed up with Todd Bowles. I'm done with him. This team, after losing to the freaking Browns, after losing to the freaking Browns, there is no chance we go anywhere this season. There's no chance. This team has lost motivation, and Todd Bowles, out of all people, is definitely not about to put it back into him. love to say I'm wrong. I'd love to be wrong, but I'm not. I'm sick and tired of this team, but that's your reasons why they're one of three. Play calling. Defense got gashed against Jacksonville. Dang, I just forgot this was a Jaguars recap. I started ranting on the whole season because that's how bad I feel. Jets lost 31 to 12 to the Jaguars. And you know what's funny at the end of the game? Like the corn balls that they are, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they went for two-point conversion. And they were winning 31 to 12. With like 10 seconds left in the game or something. They went for two. And don't and Doug Marone said that the chart said to go for two. The chart! Throw away the chart! You're up by 20! Anyway, that was my thoughts on the game. Let me know your comments in the let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We got three straight home games. Home against the Broncos, home against the Colts, home against the Vikings. Hoping we can win all three and be four and three on the season. But like I said, that's hope. Let me know what you guys think. This has been uh, Harley 417 as always. You heard it first from Harley 4. Oh jeez. Mondays, right? You heard it first. Probably four with seven. I screwed that up again. Bye.